Now you'll learn about the lemma package for differential expression. Using the lemma package for differential expression has multiple clear advantages over writing your own bespoke code. First, testing thousands of genes individually would require writing a loop with boilerplate code, like counting variables, thus obscuring the intent of the analysis. Every lemma function performs its action on every gene in the dataset, making it easier for you to write the code and easier for others to understand your analysis. But it's not only more convenient for you, it's also better statistics. The loop in the code above treats every gene as a completely independent analysis. But because all the genes were measured in the same experiment, Lima uses a statistical technique known as empirical Bayes to share information across the genes, which is especially helpful for studies with small sample sizes. Now, empirical Bayes methods would deserve its own separate course, so I won't elaborate more, but know that not only are you getting convenience, but also sophisticated statistics. Lastly, Lima has many functions for processing the data before and after performing the differential expression test. You'll learn about some of these in Chapter 3. To get started using the Lima package, install it using BioC Lite. Recall that the goal of the breast cancer study is to identify differentially expressed genes between ER negative tumors in which the estrogen receptor protein is absent versus ER positive tumors in which the estrogen receptor protein is present. Thus, for each gene, you need to fit the following linear model. The response variable y is the expression level of the given gene. Beta naught is the mean expression level of the gene in the ER negative tumors. Beta one is the mean difference in expression level of the gene in the ER positive tumors compared to the ER negative tumors. Explanatory variable X1 indicates ER status, and epsilon models the random noise. You translate this statistical model to R code using the function model.matrix and the formula syntax you use to create box plots. However, this time you only need to specify the explanatory variable. The result is called a design matrix, and Lima will then apply this to every gene. Here I create a design matrix for the breast cancer data by including the column ER as the explanatory variable. I don't need to surround it in quotes because I specify the source of the data is the phenotype data frame. Each column of the design matrix corresponds to a coefficient in the linear model. If the sample in a given row is modeled by this coefficient, then it has the value 1 and 0 otherwise. Looking at the first two samples, the intercept is 1 because it, it, it is 1 for all samples. The first sample is ER negative and has 0 for beta 1. Conversely, the second sample is ER positive and has 1. Summing the columns of the design matrix is a good sanity check. The number of samples modeled by the ER coefficient should equal the number of ER positive samples, 209. Now that you have specified a design matrix, you can proceed with the standard lemma pipeline. First, load the package. Second, fit the coefficients of the model with lmfit by passing it the expression set object and design matrix. Third, calculate the t-statistics by passing it the fitted model object to the eBase function. Lastly, count the number of genes with higher or lower expression in ER positive tumors compared to ER negative. There are 5,004 
upregulated genes, 6,276 downregulated genes, and 11,003 genes whose expression level is not different between the tumors. Note that in the call to decide test, I specified the coefficient ER since it wouldn't be meaningful to test the intercept coefficient. Now it's your turn to build and test a model for the leukemia.